Finally, a culture of confidence is service oriented. I don't want to dwell on as much as has been said about certain parts of this. It's not the values, the value of the company, but the values in the company that cause it to flourish. Companies that emerge from recession, well, will be those who say the bottom line is only the bottom line. It's important, but it's not the big thing. This is a great time to invest in your team. This is a great time because people know that their greatest asset right now is not their mortgage. It's not their share portfolio. It's their job skill. The only thing they've got to hang on to at times is their skill. When you invest in it, it will inspire great loyalty in your team. It's a time for greater client service. If you are relying on customer relations management, the marrying of software with a good data bank to fulfill your customer care, I think you are making a mistake. Good servant. Again, bad master. You cannot digitize a relationship. I can't say to my wife of 29 years, I don't need you anymore. I have a photograph of you by my bed. When I want to think of you, I'll, think, I'll look at the photograph. I'll talk to the photograph. This is just a two-dimensional digital representation of a beautiful three-dimensional reality. You cannot digitize relationship. And just about the only thing that is re recession-proof is true face-to-face, eyeball-to-eyeball friendship. This is a great time to turn your network people into real partners, turn just customers into real ongoing clients. This is a great time to make friends. Add that personal touch. That person in, in your enterprise who's been giving you a hassle the last couple of years. Maybe someone in engineering is hassling you about something and you just not seem to be able to get on with that person. This is a great time. Take a step back, a deep breath, and try to invest in that person a little more personal time. Find out why it is that they seem to have this problem. Become more personal is what I'm saying.